Hi, I'm Taya Gurken with Peghead Nation, and I'm here to show you Daedario's new Cradle Capo. As you can see, the Cradle Capo uh, is Daedario's take on a classic capo design with a uh, centered adjustment screw. Um, capo goes all the way around the neck, and uh, that design self-centers. Um, so it does have a tendency to really keep the guitar in tune very well. Um, and Daedario worked with Ned Steinberger, a famed designer, Ned Steinberger, uh, who's designed many Daedario products in the past uh, to work on this. And um, they've come up with some ways to uh, sort of take this design design and um, take it into a contemporary realm. One of the um, unique aspects about this is that rather than using a latch to hold the uh, arm that moves over in place here, uh, this works by squeezing the entire capo and uh, popping the, uh, the arm right into a little uh, resting area right in there. And it's very strong. Uh, there's no moving part um, to, to rattle or, uh, uh, or wear out in there. So it's a very, very slick design. Um, and the capo is wide enough. Um, to even work on, on a guitar with a fairly wide fingerboard. You saw me using it on this custom shop Martin um, all the way up to the seventh fret. And this guitar has a one and three quarter inch, inch nut width and a string spacing at the saddle of uh, two and three eighth inches. So it's a pretty wide neck. And uh, there are uh, some capos that won't go past, say, the fifth or sixth fret. Um, but uh, I'm happy that this capo actually goes out all the way up to the seventh fret, which uh, is sometimes important to be able to do. Other design elements on the Cradle Capo uh, include a um, micrometer adjustment screw uh, right here on the bottom of the unit to uh, adjust the, uh, the, the tightness of the capo. And this feels very much like the screw on the uh, Daedario NS Capo, which was the original capo that Ned Steinberger designed. Um, very nice feeling uh, mechanism right there. Of course, it's got soft rubber padding, both uh, where the strings get pushed down and where the capo touches the neck on the back. So one of the reasons why a lot of people like these uh, kind of capos is because they are easy to move from position to position, and they can also remain on the guitar. So if I was going to um, go back to my seventh fret position that I was in earlier, um, and I had to move the capo, I could do so very fast. Let's say I want to go down to the fifth fret. There really are no tuning issues to speak of. Again, if I wanted to move down, say to the second fret. It really is quite remarkable how well the guitar stays in tune. And of course, one of the nice things about this kind of cradle capo is that you can keep it on the guitar when you're not using it at all. You push it behind the nut. Um, and you tighten it just a little bit. You don't want to tighten it too much because you don't want to pull the strings uh, out of tune behind the nut. Um, but once it's there, it's secure. It's not in the way. Um, you, can, you can see it behind here. Uh, you, can, you can play with your normal technique. And if you need the capo, it's right there. You can just grab it again and uh, put it back into position. So that's a very cool part of this type of capo design. So um, really nice new capo design from Daedario. Um, Daedario offers a lot of different capos. Uh, there's really something for everybody there. And uh, if you've been looking for this kind of cradle type, uh, type capo uh, for your guitars, um, it's definitely worth checking out. And uh, easy to move, your guitar stays in tune. And it's a very, uh, very nice looking design as well. And the squeezing motion of it uh, is kind of a unique aspect uh, that works really well on this. And uh, it, it's a nicely thought out design. So check it out. It's available at Daedario dealers. Uh, you can also get it directly from their website. Uh, it's the Daedario Cradle Capo. And I'm Taya Gurken with Peghead Nation. Please come back and check out our gear demos.